and what's up boys and girls what's good pretty in pink out here buying minks Tang cuban links i got special juice come take a drink what's up we're back and so i'm doing a review on kayla mitchell uh, album called Mitchell mixtape mixtape called Mitchell. I don't want to. I, I'm doing these reviews not just for like the big parties or just like I want to do these reviews so that people that I listen to that I think are good that you guys want to listen to. Mitchell, Caleb Mitchell is more underground. He's 19 years old, which is actually really cool because I'm 19. And he shows how much his grind has gotten him. Man, it's like dropped already four mixtapes, and I'm for 19 years old, just on YouTube. But um. He's been doing he's been doing music since he was five, I think. I remember I read him somewhere that he's been doing music for like ever since he was born. Like ever since he's been like able to walk, talk, he's been doing music, which is crazy. And since he he saw um I think eight mile it was eight mile he saw and it inspired him at the age of eight he's been wanting to just rap. And no not just rap but be a musician. And ever since he picked up that pen He's been like, I'm the greatest. I'm gonna be the greatest one day, and I think that's dope. And you can like really hear it in his music that this man just—he don't care what nobody thinks. He's doing him. At the end of the day, he getting his bag. The way that I found out who Caleb Mitchell was, he had a he had a remix. He had of a song AI. It was an AI. AI. It was a song that he created, and he had Agazo remix. Have, have him like remix like he, he was on featured on that song and I was like who is this and I followed him I didn't really listen to it, like the rest of his music because I'm more of like um, I want to see your work kind of guy I don't want to hear your your uh, singles unless I'm invested into you I don't know that's just how I work I like hearing your body of work so I didn't really, I just I just kept, I stayed around until he dropped his album or mixtape or whatever you want to drop meaning like a collective body of work and he did that so um, if you don't know who Aha Gazelle is, you should know. I mean, this is a review of uh, Caleb Mitchell, but just know that's how I found him. Uh, Aha Gazelle is another underground rapper. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So right off, yo. So so right off into into this body of work that he he led, uh, that he displayed. I was in my bed just listening to it. And let's be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my room is dirty, right? <laughs> so <laughs> my room is dirty. And like I listened to he the first words that came out of his mouth was just like I'm that nigga, no one stopping my grind. And I was like, that literally inspired me. I got up and I was like, oh let me clean my room real quick. And like let me just listen to all the rest of his uh mixed uh album mixtape, the rest of his body of work. And I was just like this man is ready to just like go like he's not stopping and i i, I really appreciate that because like you don't you get a lot of like it's very lyrical to the point where it's like you get a lot of people like that say i got this i got this jewelry i got i got this money or i got this car or it's just always solely one thing and so listening to caleb rap he raps a lot about loyalty about how where he came where he came up from um his grind like i'm like in Say so, like, like I was saying earlier, I'm that nigga, and I'm just like, I'm I like it, I like it because he flexes a lot, but I mean, it's his music, and I pre I like it, I like it a lot. My songs that I connected with was no no way, wait a minute, Espanol. Yeah, those those songs really uh. Those songs really connected with me, but No Way and Wait a Minute were the ones that really stood out, were the ones that really stood out with the, um, the I'm that nigga, ain't nobody touching my grind, ain't no one doing it better than me, and I'm gonna grind till I get what I want. Now, um, listen to his, his music, uh, Keep Up. Now see, I wasn't as musically, I wasn't musically inclined when I was younger. I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a little more musically inclined. I'm more of a, uh, I have more of an opinion when it comes to music. But the bass line and keep up immediately reminded me of the way you move. And I kind of, I mean, it, keep up wasn't, it wasn't originally for him necessarily. It was, as he said, it was for a sneaker commercial that wasn't for him. For some reason, they didn't want it. And he put on his, but he released it as a single. Now, me, I, I can't, it was, it's, 
I just don't like it. And that's it's not necessarily because it's bad. It's just because it reminds me of the way you move from by Outkast. And I don't say it like you can be inspired, but just for me, I'm always gonna repeatedly sing that melody in my head or the chorus in my head. I'm just not really gonna give him the respect he deserves on this song. And he produces on um, Keep Up. He had another song called Watch Out on the album. And I think the chorus was done amazingly. I loved his verse, but then his feature came in. He had a feature, a dude was named Drew Famous. And I'm not hating on Drew Famous. I just personally, I just personally felt like he could have done that by himself. I just feel like Caleb could have done that whole Watch Out song by himself. He killed that. I, just, I was just like, wow, when a dude came out, I was like, dang, yo, like, this is like kind of ruined, like ruined the song for me. But, um, definitely a, a good song. Espon, yo, bro. Caleb, you was a man for that. He writes about him and, and, and the money. I mean, what out? What else would you not like about the song? And then I thought it was even cool that he produced the song himself, which was was dope. And then another song he, uh, he uh, as get down, get right to it and stay down. And he had get right to it and stay down. And that song is majority about loyalty. And I told you how he writes about loyalty. He writes about it a lot during his, his um his album. Um, him and his people that he said he can't want no new friends. But, I mean, I don't know if you're really serious about that, but he raps about his squad and just straight loyalty. And I, I, just, I love it. And, the, and you can tell when the song is switched, it goes into it goes into the next song, part of the song, the second part of the song. Both sides agree. Both sides agree. I love both of them. And then he transitions into from um, transition to the, um, a little more personal uh, with lonely and. It was just, he's, I feel like he's talking to the girl. Um, just basically saying like, you're supposed to state like, what happened, like stuff, like things done changed up and stuff like that. And I felt like Lonely, it wasn't, uh, I felt like Lonely was a transition song into All Right. Because Lonely was echoing All Right. And All Right, he produced All Right himself. And I thought that was, just, it was great. I liked the transition. It Lonely wasn't too long, it was short. But it led into All Right, which is, I like. I, All Right is something that I will listen to. I relate to it. It's awesome, bro. Like, Caleb, I don't know if you're going to watch this. Um, I don't know if you are watching this. But if you are, bro, like, you you, you that you that man, bro. Definitely inspiration. My age, so, you know, I definitely got to grind. This tape was dope. Like, this tape is something I'm going to be listening to when I, need, when I need extra inspiration. You know, like, I love it. Um... And his last song, All Black. So his last song, All Black, it was the intro. I don't know, All Black was the outro to this, and his song. And it was very chill, it was very lyrical. This nigga just spin, he just he spin his mind. I know the last thing he was saying was that he used to have idols that he looked up to, but now he's supposed to be all his idols. He was returning back to what I was saying, like his, his, whole, his whole attitude is just, I'm grinding till I get what I want. And I just can't wait to hear what he's gonna be rapping about when he gets what he wants, you know? So, um, yeah, this whole, I, I would definitely be listening to this album for a minute now. I'm, I'm gonna buy, I haven't bought it yet, I don't have any money, but I'm definitely gonna buy it because he definitely needs, he's 19, I understand the struggle and all that, and I have any money, and he's young, and I have any clout and all that. So I'm definitely buying that man's mixtape, uh, mixtape album, oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, I didn't, I just know, I feel like it's a mixtape. I really feel like it's a mixtape. But I'm gonna buy it. Because I, I want to support my support him because it was a good tape, and I'm definitely I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna say I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. For his next tape, I kind of do want a little bit more background. He talked about his uncle Ronnie. I kind of want to know a little bit more about what happened besides he shot himself. I guess I just wish he had a lot more of that. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, this is Katoa TV. And I see you next week. I make the loops, bring the money back to you. I make the loops, bring the money back to you. I make the loops, bring the money back to you. I might go slow on it, now bring it back fast. Now let me know who in control. Made beats for y'all to buy. Guess I know why my business moving slow. Y'all can't handle great beats for your trash fools who complaining though. I'ma start getting high on my own supply till I'm on the radio.